Alrighty, so it's been quite some time, quite some time since a Canada's Wonderland update on anything that's going on at the park. Um, and I don't have massive information, but I'm going to go over anything that I've kind of realized over a period of time or that we're currently investigating and just anything going on with Mindbuster in other parts of the park. So as you can see with Mindbuster, Mindbuster's retracking looks like it's mostly done. Um, don't, I'm not sure if the steel track is laid down yet, but the woodwork is definitely done. We did notice that they started to do woodwork on the structure itself, so we noticed that they're replacing some wood columns on the actual support beams for Mindbuster. We noticed some new handrails on the last airtime hill leading into the uh, helix, and we've just noticed woodwork overall around the structure. Personally, this does prove that Mindbuster does have somewhat of a future at minimum at Canada's Wonderland, and it is not on the chopping block anytime soon. So this does rest a lot of those uh, rumors that Mindbuster is, you know, on the chopping block in the next three to five years. I would strongly say that Mindbuster and Wild Beasts do have a somewhat strong future at Canada's Wonderland uh, moving forward. That being said, we are also not seeing any signs of a paint job for Behemoth yet. I'm really hoping that Behemoth shows signs in early spring of a paint job. It is in desperate need of one. Um, the drone enhances the color of all the colorful objects, so the paint job does not look as bad as it actually does because the drone is enhancing the colors. And um, that being said, uh, we do have an update on the hotel coming. We are just doing a little bit um, of investigating with some of the construction companies that we know are in charge of the project. We're just going to reach out to them and figure out uh, what the timeline looks like, if it's still going forward, if there's a delay. We have seen a recent investment um, for a Kings Island campsite. It isn't as big of an investment as a hotel, and it's uh, Cedar Fair is just managing the property. So it's not actually going to cost as much as you think. So it's not like the investment was switched over to Kings Island. So we're just looking at that. There are some construction trailers parked um, in the back portion of the parking lot. We are not sure if those are for Wonderland. One could assume that um, if they are for Wonderland, it's probably for the hotel. You would need a much larger selection of trailers during a pandemic because you can't have as many people in them. But I have a feeling they are just starting their storage in the parking lot. So I can see a lot of buses in the mid tier. There's the construction trailers for security at the very back part. So um, I have a feeling we're going to start to see cars arriving. We did see in our drone footage yesterday in the comment section, a lot of people are like, well, it's weird that Wonderland hasn't started uh, parking their cars or renting out the parking lot. That always does come around January, especially with Winterfest now. So you will see those cars arriving. You should see them arriving, I should say, um, around January. So we covered the hotel, we covered Mindbuster, we covered Behemoth, and we covered those construction trailers. Um, other than that, there are no signs of construction anywhere else in the park. Um, no signs of retracking. Uh, the park is set up and essentially ready to start testing the rides um, early spring. All the rides and trains are all set up and just wrapped in tarp. Um, so that makes it a lot easier for them. I'm trying to see if there's anything else. Uh, if you follow us on Instagram, you know that we did start talking about a front gate reno. Um, so we are very well aware of some information about Canada's Wonderland's front gate was supposed to receive a reno about two to three years ago. Um, and it got pushed back for unknown reasons. And Cedar Fair is trying to hold off on a front gate reno for some time. So what they did was, for those of you that have noticed, they installed a bunch of metal detectors on the Season Pass processing building to hold off on a reno for as long as possible. So we don't know when a front gate reno is coming. We do know that it should be here in the next two to five years. Um, and with that being said, with the evidence of Cedar Fair pushing it back, we saw this with Yukon Striker, there's some sort of plan. So we think that um, this could be one of two things. We could be getting an actual front gate coaster with Flight Tech and Time Warp. Um, or the front gate reno that they want, they just want to make sure they hit it uh, right, and it's going to be like a retheme, so it could be down a Canadian route. We're hoping for something, per like personally, we're hoping for something um, Great Wolf Lodge like. So, like the wood Muskoka theme, 
with maybe even some of those like Native American design pillars with the wolves and the eagles. That'd be really sick, or just tree branches, like large tree branches holding it up. Something along those routes, but we do know a front gate reno is coming. Uh, it is in desperate need. The current front gate cannot handle Wonderland's crowds anymore, and it can take upward of an hour to get into the park some days. Um, and there's a lot of new security technology too that the park can uh, dabble with uh, when they do a front gate reno that can help with getting crowds through faster as well. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of route um, Cedar Fair and Canada's Wonderland go down with a new front gate. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm truly looking forward to it. So hopefully this update uh, sufficed. I know it's been quite some time, so hopefully uh, uh, you enjoyed this update. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and hopefully you had an amazing holidays, and hopefully you have an amazing New Year's as well. So here's to a better much 2021, hopefully. Fingers crossed, knocking on wood. And yeah, thanks so much, guys. Have a good one. Bye.